So for the last couple of years, the White House Initiative has done listening sessions with over 30,000 people across the country. And consistently over and over, we keep hearing the message that communities actually don't know how to access the federal government. And in some cases, it's due to language barriers, but in many cases, it's due to lack of relationships or just due to proximity. You know, what's interesting is the federal government is not just in D.C. We're like all over the country. Um, we have these regional offices and we want to, you know, let people know that uh, we're there and they don't necessarily have to come all the way to D.C. Um, to get connected to a lot of services and benefits. In 2013, one of our initiative staff, Courtney Chapel, championed the effort to create the regional network to really connect the federal government to local communities. So the regional network consists of over 200 members from throughout the country. They're represented in all 10 regions of the country. So that includes the Pacific Islands, Hawaii, coast to coast and everywhere in between. So whether you're a nonprofit leader trying to access a federal grant, whether you're a business leader trying to access capital or a loan, you know, or just someone who's interested in learning what their rights are around immigration, you know, workers' rights, health. And its goals are to really increase the relationship between the local community and federal officials. We created a technical assistance and grant capacity building program in which we are delivering and deploying grant training throughout the federal government with targeted providers that we uh, recruit and engage. So that could be you know, actual providers that we work with directly, as well as partnering with other federal agencies who actually have capacity building programs. We've been very fortunate to partner with WIAPI to work closely with community-based organizations on the ground across all 10 regions to really provide uh, culturally tailored capacity building um, training for organizations to position them well. I'm a bit of a beginner with the grant writing process. So for them to lay it all out on terms of the budgetary objectives and goals and how to lay that out. That way you can uh, score a successful grant. I think that that's the most important thing. I work uh, specifically with the new immigrant communities from the Himalayan region, so that's Tibet, Nepal, India, Bhutan. This particular workshop was very helpful in terms of being able to take some of this material and help train some of our people in the community around grant writing. What we're seeing is this regional network is growing by leaps and bounds and it's a real testament I think to the interest of our federal partners to connect with API communities where they live and work. I think it's fantastic being able to have these resources that not a lot of people um, actually have access to and then being over here and having it be free for the public whoever's interested in those specific areas I think that's a wonderful opportunity for us to learn. When they have the opportunity to come together convene and share best practices there's so much power in in our communities. We have a responsibility, um, as much as the community does, but I, I put that more on us, that we have a responsibility to do what we can, that no one is without that information. And I think the president was very telling, you know, when he signed the executive order that created this initiative and commission is that no community should be invisible to its government. And so that really is what guides us.